The Vikings weren't just people. They were an era marked by violence, brutality, murder, and war. Despite their reputation as barbarians, Vikings were really clever warriors who fought for the greater good of their people. Somewhere along the line, though, they learned to colonize and adapt to new environments. They really wanted to become the greatest, and many of them did achieve that. The world has witnessed some legendary Vikings, such as Ragnar Lothbrok, Bjorn Ironside, and Eric the Red. But there was one other Viking, Olaf Tryggvason, who is considered the most badass Viking of all time. And in today's video, we will be talking about him. So like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let's get started. Olaf Tryggvason was born around 960s, in a period when the Vikings were constantly at war. It is said that Olaf was the great-grandson of Harald Fairhair, according to the saga. However, it remains to be seen whether this was a valid assertion. His life has been full of ups and downs since he was a child. His mother accompanied him when he departed Norway, and the name of his father has not been revealed. Olaf's foster father was slain in front of his eyes on their passage to the new land, and Olaf was sold into slavery as a result. Later, he was saved by one of his uncles. When Olaf arrived in Kiev, he settled down and began to grow into a warrior who was not only brilliant, but also hungry for power. He left Kiev and went raiding, following in the footsteps of his ancestors. In Wendland, he married the princess Gira, who died not long after the wedding. Olaf's anguish was so overwhelming that he decided to leave Wendland. He traveled to Britain, where he encountered a hermit who foretold his rule via a prophecy. At that moment, Olaf, the Viking warrior, made the decision to convert to Christianity. Following the baptism, Olaf set ship for Ireland, where he met Gaida, the princess of Dublin, whom he later married as his second wife. According to the saga, Olaf Tryggvason formed a partnership with Swin Forkbeard, who happened to be the son of Harold Bluetooth, to wage war. Even though many of his attempts were unsuccessful, Olaf remained a threat to many people across England. Olaf traveled all over the world to persuade people to leave their old ways and embrace Christianity. The year 997 saw Olaf relocating to Trondheim, where he built up a small trade town and transformed it into his royal residence. He distributed a few coins discovered by archaeologists, which were etched with his name dating to 990s. It is said that he had many enemies, and he was assaulted by sea in the year 1000, when he is supposed to have jumped from the ship instead of surrendering, never to be seen again. So we will end our video here. We hope you enjoyed it. If you have any thoughts, please let us know in the comments section. Like and subscribe to the Vikings Code channel, because we will be providing you the authentic information regarding Vikings. Don't forget to hit the bell icon as well, and we'll see you in the next one.